Good morning, guys. I am still jet lagged for my son um, and his fiance to take me out on a roller coaster ride, guys. So I'm still jet lagged from that ride. I think it's so close to the water, guys. The gators are right there. Like, whoa. And you don't have no side rails or nothing, just, just the seats. Three in the front and three in the middle. And the captain driving up in the top. <laughs> it's the safest one. So, guys, um, I gave you a little bit of um, the video. I I'm going to put a full ride, okay? Enjoy the ride. And, and not just the ride. Focus on the plants. Focus on the birds. They each have a name. I don't remember, guys. You know, my memory. Something like that. I can't remember. Um, it was a gator swamp. Um, the story behind it was that the Spaniards tried to invade that whole area, which is huge. We didn't even tour the whole area, but that was the story on it, and it didn't happen. And they tried, and they tried. A swamp, guys. So if you see any grass, tall grass, it's edible, okay? They look like little palms, you know, the palms you get at church. Um... Uh, on Palm Sundays, those are edible. And then those yellow flowers that you're going to see, they're also edible. They're very nutritious, okay? And even the, the driver of the company for the swamp um, air rides, they, they, um, they, they ate them and they, they proved they're nutritious and whatnot. So, I thought I saw something. <laughs> it was really crazy. So anyways, it's the fan blowing the mini blinds inside. Um, those yellow flowers that you're going to see on top of these big leaves, they're edible. And then the tall grass ones, okay, you see the grass, he'll run through some because he just wants to show you how powerful those boats are. They could run 600 miles an hour, guys. Can you imagine that? They use those boats for um, uh, rescue also, okay, like... like um, a big hurricane and, and, and people get stuck in water like on second floors because okay, they can't get out. If you know, in areas souther and in any area, um, they use those those boats for search and rescue. Um, so there are these other lavender um, flowers if if you if if you if you stop your screen, if you see anything look kind of purplish, they're flowers also. They are edible. So you can actually survive eating that grass, okay? Um, I would have to take a second tour because we had the mics on, but he didn't specify in the beginning. If you have any questions, just speak to the mic and he can hear you and he can answer questions. But due to the fact that there was a child, okay, she was like 10 years old, and I didn't want to ask any questions um, out of, you know, Ada, guys. You know Ada. So I didn't, I mean, nothing bad, but you never know what might have slipped because we were, we were supposed to have fun. It was supposed to have a fun conversation, some laughs through the mics. And, and, and a fun ride. I, I truly enjoyed it, guys. That thing costs money. Um, I told my son, no, 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 I'm not going anywhere. I ain't getting dressed to go nowhere. But he insisted and insisted and insisted. If you don't get, if you don't put some sunscreen on and put a hat and put some a, a short or a cap or something and a long sleeve shirt, um, I, 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 I will put it on for you. So, guys, I had no choice. I didn't want him to spend the money because he has a hell of a lot of bills. He's one person I went out asking for $5 um, because I know he's up in debt. And right now he's transitioning from one job and, and, um, and, and not transitioning, but taking a course in the evening um, to move into another job because this heat is unbearable and I told you a story already where his his um, co-worker um, got dehydrated 
very badly okay so it's 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 a it's a, it's a rough job guys today's gonna be like 105 degrees and even though it says 90 90 something but the heat index is 105 that's dangerous very dangerous even if they have the gear it's still dangerous guys this guy had all the gear and he was that's how he was feeling you could go a whole day with fasting and have a gear and have water so um, I made a sacrifice okay right now I'm trying to make my auto insurance payment guys I forgot to make my auto insurance payment and um, I just had to to rob Paul to get Peter um, and every penny I had that I was trying to put single dollars and five dollars away for a hard times so or whatever might come our way guys well I, I had to I had to um, use that to pay my auto insurance so my daughter went to deposit the, the money into my bank account because my stomach is not very good today guys and um, and she got home today from work uh, she had to stay away because um, the weather even though we don't have a storm or nothing like that guys but it rains it pours it rains it thunders lightning everything guys and she has a long commute so some days she's not with me um it's hard guys it's very hard so she went to run that errand for me and then i can make my auto insurance payment so anyway guys for my birthday that was my birthday. I'm going to show you the video now, okay? Enjoy it. And if you would like to help Ada out, my cash app is there, okay? Um, this month is going to be rough for me because uh, I paid every bill I had. And except what I had, what I thought I had some extra change was I forgot to pay my auto insurance. So that's, I'm done. Guys, I am done for the rest of the month. And good thing my van has a full tank of gas in case I have to go to the doctor. Um, I was called the uh, day before yesterday that my glasses were ready. I called. My glasses there yet? And she said, oh, yeah, yeah, they're here. You can pick them up anytime. Ah, guys, in pajamas, I went right the heck about up there. I was just to, to up the avenue and up the other avenue right there. So it was close. So I drove slowly. I get there. They tell me. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a mistake we made. Um, it was another Ada. Guys, I was so mad. I, there's nothing I could do. I said, okay, thank you. I'll wait for you to call me. Can you please keep track of my glasses? Don't just let them sit there because I need them. They're making my eyes swell. You can see my eyes are still swelling up because that tint is bothering my eyes. I really need them. Should have went elsewhere. I know what to do now for my next, okay? Like I said, Lady P gave me the website. I, I have it saved. I will do something else besides go back in there again. And um, so that's about it, guys. The only place I went to was to um, Saturday, the safari. He took me to a ride out of work. He came pick me up. I didn't want to do anything. And then from there, we went to his fiance's family's house. Um, and they cut a little cake for me, so, and I brought the, it was small, and it was still enough, it was, it was just like maybe five or six of us, so, then Sunday was that surprise, which he had already paid online or something, I know it's, you know, it, it, I don't want to, I don't want to get him out of his way, because I know what kind of bills he has, and in conversations he has told me. Sometimes he works overtime. Sometimes there is no overtime. And he's trying to pay this and pay that. So I don't, I don't, I, I can't, I can't bother him. And then my other one from New Jersey, he paid my $125 for me to be able to uh, get my glasses after they took my insurance and everything else, guys. I don't understand it because that was enough to get glasses completely, even with my bicycles. But no, they cheated me. Nothing I could do. It's done, okay? So, um, it's hard, guys. It's hard. Um, 
but anyway, I want you to enjoy the full ride of what I had, what I, where I went, where they took me. And it would have been much fun if, if we could have talked, if I could have talked, they could have talked to the mic, I could have talked to the mic and asked questions, okay, to learn more. It, it was a tremendous hour and a half ride. It was the moment to ask the questions you wanted to know. But maybe it wasn't appropriate for a small child. So I didn't want to take a chance of saying something. You know, there might have been a misunderstood in the wrong way. Because people will misunderstood, uh, misunderstood, you know, understand you sometimes. And you'd be like, wow, you know, I didn't really mean this that way. But gosh, people take things the wrong way. So you got to be careful. Due to that, there was a child. So it wasn't that, that child was not there, but I'm glad she had a great ride. I enjoyed her. Okay. She was like, whoa, whoa. You could hear it through the mic. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy the ride. Have fun. Um, have the rest of the week. I'll see you in a few days. Um, guys, look at my eyes. Oh, my gosh. My glasses, guys. Um, and the, the eye doctor did tell me. Your eyeglasses, they're all bubbled up in there. It has like a it, 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 it lets out this whatever it is that she called it into my eyes. I have to keep washing my face every now and then. And I put A and D, not A and D, the basic tracing, the triple antibiotic. I rub it in my hands, guys, and I let I, I, I put it right in my side of my eye and around my eye. Oh, yeah, it helps, it helps, guys. So anyway, enjoy the ride, guys. Have fun. I hope all y'all doing good. Sorry, I've been off the radar a little bit, but I'm going through issues, guys. So um, it'll take some time for me to get myself squared out, okay, guys? And plus, my van is not in position to take a long ride, all right, guys? Like I want to. So even if I don't have the setup complete, I can take a long ride to the beach and show you, you know, any any abnormality of these shorts coming up to the edge. Guys, right here in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, it's not like right here, but I, if my van wasn't, if, if I got it fixed, I could get up there. So anyway, guys, thank you again. Love you all. Um, guys, prep, okay? Prep. Uh, I have another video of prepping. We need to prep now. So whatever you can. I have a couple of things. I'm not going to stress myself behind it. It is what it is. But at least I, I did ramp up a little bit. You know, y'all yeah, saw it. So I'll think of something more wise to get. Vegetable pans. More powdered milk and powdered eggs, guys. My next purchase next month. Because right now I'm doomed will be powdered eggs all right guys that's source of protein you gotta have protein guys they're trying to take our protein away and that's why they're messing with the chickens okay and telling us all kinds of stories to probably discourage us from doing things and having things sometimes you don't know what to believe so play it wisely play it safe get your Get your protein one way or another in your pantries for hard times because hard times are coming in a couple of months guys okay um two states already started breaking stores and supermarkets and stealing food yeah um i don't remember the one was in new york uh, another one was in california if i'm not mistaken it started, guys. The looting and the stealing the food because people can't afford food. And they have kids. Okay? So if you had kids, I think you would do the same thing. Um, if you can make your ends meet. So we have still time. Okay? We still have time. So next month, there's I, 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 nothing I could do right now. Um, I, will ramp, I, will, I will make an effort to get some... Uh, the dehydrated powdered eggs okay guys and flour and my butane stove and butane or propane 
or both, whichever. I'll make a sacrifice after paying all my bills. Lord have mercy. How did I forget my auto insurance bill? So anyway, um, thank you guys. Enjoy the ride. Keep your eyes open. Don't tell anyone what you have at home and what you're prepping for. Okay? Because you won't have anything. When people get desperate, they're going to come. They're going to come right to you. And they don't care who you are. You could be their grandma, their, 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 their auntie, their whomever. When their mamas get crazy and their papas get crazy, they're going to come for your stuff. And I and the first ones that they're going to get to is the ones that live in, like, farm areas or isolated homes. One here, one there. Wooded areas that there's a house in there. They know that those people... Um, tend to have food because they don't they don't have to travel to a closest grocery store or nothing like that we all know guys that they have a tendency to sup keep their food supply for winter in winter states and it gets cold out here that I do know but it's gonna be everywhere it's not the city people that are gonna get attacked first it's the ones that are living in isolation um, in small towns all right guys so please be safe and enjoy the ride enjoy the ride guys thank you